hello and welcome back to another Stalker 2 Unique Weapons, Armors and Artifact Guide video. We have seven more unique items to go over including weapons, armors and artifacts. And some of these might not be possible for you to collect however as they are story related and depending on choices you have made previously. And also this video will contain some spoilers so keep that in mind but I will warn you when we get to them. Let's take a look. The first item we are going over is the Gauss Gun. Technically this is not unique and spawns on monolith soldiers in Pripyat but this is a permanent spawn location for it and it is one of the most powerful weapons in the game so I thought I would show it. In Pripyat head for the Prometheus movie theatre you can glitch a grenade through the door to unlock it quickly and the gun is inside. Although there is technically a regular way to get inside of this building. The Bulwark Exosuit is next door to the Gauss Gun in the Music School. Starting outside, you can throw a grenade through the window to unlock the door and then head upstairs to find it. Next, the Texan Shotgun. I think this is by far the best gun in the game. It's located in the Jupiter region just outside of Pripyat and it's in the open one of the three abandoned science center pods. Next we have Weird Water. This is located in the Lights Anomaly in Zayton. Now it's currently bugged but what you're supposed to do is head inside and run from light to light and one of them should have the Weird Water just sitting inside of the light. The spawn place is random but mostly from what I've seen online and I've seen three or four different spawn locations they tend to be on rocks around this kind of central rock in the middle. It shouldn't take you more than a few minutes of checking all of the lights to find it, but if you don't it's probably bugged. Also you need to do this at night. Lastly we have three items all tied to the main story and this will contain some spoilers. The X7 armor, beast gun and Sotnik weapon are all found during the quest down below. It's after the point of no return in the main missions. When you do this mission, who you fight depends on who you sided with. If you sided with Colonel Kornishov, then you're going to miss two of the weapons. You need to have sided with Richter in order to get them. Here is how. During the mission, you will fight Colonel Kornishov and his men. You loot the unique beast weapon from the Colonel after you kill him. If you do it the other way around and you kill Richter, he doesn't have anything on him that you can loot that is unique. After the mission is done you can pick up the X7 armor as part of the story and this is not missable in either version. But what is different though is in the version where you side with Richter the Sotnik is found on a table next to the chest. If you sided with the Colonel and killed Richter then both the Beast and Sotnik weapons are missable I believe. Although I have not finished the main story yet or fully explored the game so I can't guarantee that 100% but it seems like that so far. But guys that is it for this video. Seven more unique weapons, armors and artifacts for you to find in the game. If you have any details on these four weapons I have left to find, Cavalier, Encourage, Labyrinth and Partner let me know in the comments or on Reddit which is linked in the description and I will have my complete guide out as soon as I find those four weapons because that's pretty much the last things I have to collect in the game. Like and subscribe for more and I will see you next time.